Thirsty on the east side of town? We'll head to a WNST favored King Discount Liquors on Pulaski Highway, just inside the Beltway. They have it all. I'm Johnny Bev down at King Liquors. Come and see me for all your needs in wine, spirits, and beer. Don't forget to give the King a ring. Right away, what it was to, to understand and get in an offensive quarterback room and see how complicated the system was and how difficult it was for him, especially since they weren't really telling him a lot because they, at that point, they're trying to win a conference championship. They're not trying to wait up for the rookie, you know? And uh, the protections were probably the, the, the most difficult thing for him to understand because nobody sat him down at the time. So a lot of things he learned the hard way. But I think being there, I mean, when he got to Delaware, he digested their system in a very big hurry. I mean, because they weren't as complex, I think, in some of the things that they were doing. And he was ahead of the game, I think, academically, if I can say it that way, in terms of what he needed to do very quickly. He, he, he tends to pick up pass routes very quickly, so they, these guys that do that kind of stuff, they know where everybody are, are going, so they know where the kids are going to be. In fact, the trick for these guys, when he developed in high school, he's not watching the receivers. They're watching the defenders. They know where the receivers are supposed to be. And the guys that do it well see the holes based on where the defenders are as to where the ball needs to go. It's the receiver's job to go get it. And he does that. I mean, it's just, that might be an, in, it's an intuitive thing, something they learn, I don't know. When you, when you, when you think you guys when you're not even given a chance, chance yeah. when you know you're, you can do it and you're just not going to get an opportunity, yeah. And he talks about having a chip on his shoulder, sure. Now the chip is, hey, I'm a small school guy. <laughs> right, right. Okay, come bring it at me because I'm going to show you, you know, what the small school guy can do. What are you talking about, about show and fit, though, the fit here? I'll tell you what, we didn't think at all about anybody because obviously at this point you're not choosing. You know, they're choosing you. So we didn't waste any time saying where does he want to go or where, you know, because it doesn't matter. But after, and we've met these guys a few times now uh, in the process. Uh, we had to do one a couple of times. And if you, when you listen to Cam talk, I, I leave here today. I mean, we didn't even know when we came here. I mean, I think in listening to Cam, those guys are going to get along. And he probably couldn't be in a better place. <laughs> because of Cam, and I think the relationship that they'll develop, and probably the offense, I think that they're going to probably try to structure that whole fit into. Obviously, it'll change depending on you know who's actually playing here. But I think when Joe actually gets on the field here, one, he'll know what he's doing. It'll take some time to get comfortable, and probably the biggest thing will be learning the defenses. I think once he understands it and is able to identify what defense they're trying to disguise, you know, I don't know how long that's going to take. I, we hope that he'll do it quickly. But when that happens, I think you're going to have something you guys enjoy watching.